And two, you're on. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, Facebook Live here with the Martin County Difference. And tonight uh, we started the live broadcast and it looks different. So I guess Facebook has changed once again. <laughs> they constantly are updating. But welcome to the show. Um, we'll be on the radio soon with... Um, uh, in five, in five minutes. Okay, so good. So I'll fill you in. My um, husband and I had a good time. We went to the Bahamas last week. So you may have noticed the show was a repeat of Rosie Shepherd and talking about Martin County. They have uh, we have a great event here called Dancing with the Martin Stars, and tonight's show is going to continue on that theme with two wonderful guests, Randy Pennington, who is a, a star dancer contestant in the show this year, and one of the wonderful contestants from last year when I was in it, Troy McDonald, and he's the mayor of Stewart, which is pretty cool. I was yeah. in the in his league, you know? I was yeah. Like, I was like, wow, that's the mayor over there, shuffling yeah. along, and he's gonna shuffle on in here in a little while. But the thing is, is that it's such a great organization, and this show developed out of that, um, to raise money and awareness for Healthy Start Coalition, and we're gonna talk all about that tonight, and. You're going to get to meet these guys and get to know them and all about what Martin County is all about. And we're going to be on the radio shortly at WSTU 1450 AM. And then we're also going to be on their internet, their webcam, uh, right up there is WSTUTV.com. So that stands for Stewart, S-T-U. We are broadcasting from beautiful downtown Stewart. And uh, we have three minutes to go. So... <laughs> We were in the Abacos last week, and I gotta tell you, that is the most beautiful water I have ever seen in my life. And we were in Hope Town, mm -hmm. and I would love to go back anytime. And it was our first time to fly over there, and what a great way to go. Although I gotta say, coming back home uh, was easier when we would go in the boat, because all you have to do is call into the Coast Guard, and coming back through customs at West Palm Beach, different story. They have one guy checking everybody in. So that was pretty wild, and we were like uh, 70 people on the airplane, and you got one person here. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. so um, oh, good, Lisa Holland. Hi, hi. How are you? So yeah, Randy is going to be in here in a minute with Troy, and um, so at the in the top of the show, I like to welcome everybody. And this is the Treasure Coast, and the Treasure Coast is a beautiful, just just almost like Hope Town. And um, this is a talk show with a heart, where I speak with people who are making a difference here in Martin County, in our community, to make this a better place for all of us, a better world. We're spreading positivity, because I am so sick of Argue TV. So I'm here to make a difference as well, by shining a light on the people who make a difference for all of us here in the area. And really, it's global and universal, because what these organizations do carries forward in other parts of the world but I just would like to ask you to share and follow the show and its Facebook page and its group we have I have a group the Martin County difference a YouTube channel and now on iTunes podcast cool all by the same name the Martin County difference so you can follow me on Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and Instagram and I do uh, a few good tips for real estate because I am a realtor at Coldwell Banker here on the Treasure Coast in Martin County. And I have a background in broadcasting, which is how this got to start, and also was in the Dancing with the Martin Stars last year. That's hence the, the Dancing Realtor, which I love <laughs> getting to say that. But I don't have to dance anymore, which is great. I can just have all the other dancers on the show. Um, so you can go to my Facebook real estate page, Julia Sansevier, Florida Waterfront Specialist, and you can see my listings there and search all the listings in Florida at juliasansevier.com. And, or you can go to my website, juliasansevier.com. And my number is 772-919-1385. And my office is right on US-1 at Monterey. And in my car. I'm always in my car. So um, tonight's guests, as I said, are gonna be Troy McDonald and Randy Pennington, two wild and crazy guys, and all about Martin County Healthy Start Coalition. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit real estate tips at the top of the show and um, the market stats. It's very good news. So um, just wanted to bring that into focus. And pretty soon here we're going to be going on the radio live. So I will hush it down. And 
there's my intro. We're listening to WSTU Stewart. So call all your friends, tell them to tune in. The views and opinions on this program are not necessarily those of WSTU Digital 1450. The opinions expressed are those of the program hosts and guests. WSTU does not endorse products that may be mentioned. Any reproduction or retransmission of this broadcast is strictly prohibited without written consent of WSTU. It's time now for the Martin County Difference with your host, dance and realtor, Julia Sands. Hi, good evening, and welcome to the Martin County Difference, coming to you live from beautiful downtown Stewart, Florida. I'm Julia Sansevier, your host, and I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker here on the Treasure Coast. And this is a radio talk show with a heart, where I speak with people who are making a difference in our community to make this world a better place for all. We're spreading positivity. So please follow and like and share the show. Uh, it's on its own Facebook page and it's got a group and a YouTube channel and now on iTunes, a podcast, all by the same name, The Martin County Difference. Um, you can follow me, Julia Sansevier, on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And for great tips and articles about buying and selling real estate, you can go to my Facebook real estate page, Julia Sansevier, Florida Waterfront Specialist, and to see my listings and search all listings in Florida, you can do that on my Facebook page or on my website, juliasansevier.com. And if you want to reach me, you can call me at 772-919-1385. And my office of Coldwell Banker is right on US-1 at Monterey, also in my car, as I like to say, <laughs> always tooting around in town. But um, tonight's show is about Healthy Start Coalition which is how I got started on the radio show. Uh, last year, I was in the cast for Dancing with the Martin Stars, which raises money to make sure that little babies are born healthy in Martin County. And um, so I had a lot of fun, met a lot of people, and one of the guests tonight, Troy McDonald, was in the cast last year. So, and the other guest is in the cast this year, so that's gonna be a lot of, yeah. a lot of fun, yeah. So before I get to that part of the show, though, I like to give out my real estate tip of the week and talk about the market stats here um, and a few of my featured properties. So in case anybody out there is listening, that helps and makes my sellers happy. There you go. But three tips for a higher home appraisal. So not just one tip tonight, three tips, but it's all about a higher home appraisal. And I had a home appraisal done today on one of my listings and I took heed to this advice. Um, number one is that information is king. So we want to make sure that the appraiser has all the information they need, and right. the realtor should provide the appraiser with comps from the area. Also, everything you've done to your home, all the upgrades, if it's been painted, anything like that, include a fact sheet to give to the uh, appraiser with the home address, all the square footage, the bedrooms and bathrooms, the size of the lot, that kind of thing and include this list with the list of comps and it and they may have pulled that already but they may have missed something and you want to check public records too and sometimes the homeowner knows about something that's sold in the neighborhood that is right. not in our MLS and you know buyers and sellers don't agree on much but they do agree on one thing the value and they want the transaction to go successfully we right. all do and an appraisal can really hook things up because it comes in after you've got agreed upon price on the contract and all the terms and everything are set. And then the appraisal is this little piece of paper, well, it's a few stacks of paper, <laughs> but it can send the whole thing out of control. And the bank will need this appraisal in order to process the loan. Now, if you're getting cash deal, great, that's great. And about a third of our transactions in Martin County are cash in the last, wow. yeah, in, in, the, in June, I would say. I looked up the stats, that's one of the stats. But, um, you know, the appraiser has access to all the information, but we just like to make it easy. And, you know, you can also bring them coffee and donuts if you're meeting them there in the morning. Yeah. That's always a good thing. You know, just yeah. smooth them a little bit. Yeah. Now, if, for, if you're a homeowner, if it's broken, you want to fix it. That's the one thing. Number two tip. Um, because the condition of the home is what they're going to base the right. appraisal on, a yeah, lot like of it. Drippy faucets. That. You yeah. don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> And you, they'll give an effective age. So if your home is older, but you've made improvements, whatever, if you've a cracked window pane, you want to get that fixed because you just want to make it look perfect and habitable. And um, you just, 
their effective age has a big rating on oh, the appraisal. Right. Yeah, what they tell. And you want to do this, number three, give your home a quick cleaning right before they come. Clean cells, right? And we don't. Do, we, I always tell the homeowners to also do this for showings because nobody wants to buy a dirty house. Right. Right. And so most appraisers can look beyond the laundry room has clothes in it and all that. But if it's well maintained and clean, it gives the illusion that um, you know it's perfect and it's in top shape, top condition, top notch condition. So you want to take care of any overgrown landscaping, any soiled carpeting, any marks on the walls, anything like that just to improve the overall condition in that rating. Um, so some things impact the uh, value more than others, but these are basic things and basic steps. And so that's really good, and, and, and I did that today. I did, except for the coffee and donuts, I provided her with a list. <laughs> But you know, they rate things, she had to do, it's an FHA appraisal, right. so it's a government back loan. She went around and checked all the appliances, and you know, some things do wear out sooner than others. Average life of appliances is gonna be, you know, seven to 10, 15 years. And uh, if you've got a new washer dryer upgraded, that, that gives you points. Yeah. Crown molding, things like that. You know, upgraded granite counters, stainless steel appliances. So all of that's good. And, I put that in the list, and uh, the square footage matters. Um, there was, um, this is a two-bedroom townhouse out in River Marina, and it's larger than some of the three-bedroom townhouses, so I pointed that out to her. Mm. And again, like our market stats, I pulled this. This is very interesting for Martin County. We're doing very well, and we have a little bit more inventory on the market than last year at this time. Um, but the interesting thing is, like I said, a third of the sales, about 275 closed sales in June, of homes, just single family homes, and a third of those were uh, cash. Wow. Yeah, so the bankers don't like to hear that. No. That's good for the homeowner because you typically avoid an appraisal and all that stuff. Um, the month's supply of inventory has gone up a little tick, a little bit. We were at just about four and a half months of supply of inventory a year ago in June, and now this year in June, we're at 5.1. So it's just slipped up a little bit, taking a little longer to sell your house on the market. But um, average is just about 56 days, which is not bad. Not bad. Yeah, and last year at this time was 47 days. And I know people want a quick sale, and we love our homes. I know I love my home, and you think you put it on the market, it's gonna go right away. Right. Well, you find out that not every, it's like going down the aisle at Home Depot. Well, not that one, not that one. Oh, I want that one, you know. So you, right. it's a lot of uh, people coming through your house, so you have to have it clean every day. It's a pain in the neck, but we appreciate you doing it because it makes everybody's life easier. Right. And um, so those are my tips. And then a couple of my featured listings are, um, the townhouse went under contract right away. Within, oh, good. Within a week to two less than two weeks of being on the market nice. because it was in pristine condition mm. and also just under two hundred thousand dollars it's a good bargain yeah. in in this community a um, couple of other things i have though if you're looking for a waterfront house i like to feature this one because there's uh, they're only making so much waterfront <laughs> right. so in lighthouse point on dyer point road and i'm going to have an open house there this sunday so hey everybody one to four p.m at um dyer point road and that is uh, boy, my eyes are bad. <laughs> um, 1639, right. Uh, Dyer Point Road, and that one is listed at 5389, three bedroom, two bathroom, completely renovated. So come see that at 1639 Dyer Point Road. And also just down the street is 1470 Dyer Point Road, and that's going to be on open house too. One of my colleagues is going to hold that open from 1 to 4 p.m. on Sunday. And that's a pool home, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, immaculate. And so those are great. And I have a condo out on Hutchinson Island, a two bedroom, two bathroom, beautiful views right at the beach. It's great. And that's um, at Hutchinson House East, and that's 415000 And um, a cute, sweet house on Highland Road, right so well located, like a mini estate. It's got almost a half an acre around it. It's very private. No homeowners association. Amazing. And that's two ninety nine. dollars So that's very good. Um, and one other thing, um, let's see, Women's Council of Realtors. Not everybody knows I'm president of the Women's Council of Realtors, but I want to give a shout out. Yeah. yeah. Putting together a weekend getaway package to Stewart and Martin County for the Florida Realtors Conference is coming up in August. 
Okay. And I'll be up there with my Women's Council of Realtors. And Women's Council really helps promote women as entrepreneurs and community and business leaders. And we're going to be having a silent auction to raise money for our education and programs. And I have got to thank Drew Pittman, number one, uh, from Sneaky Tiki. Mm -hmm. He's going to donate a gift card to Sneaky Tiki for $50 and a $50 gift card to his uh, delivery service. He delivers food, uh, eats restaurant. Delivered. Yeah, eats delivered, but yeah. now it's 772delivery.com. He changed the name a little bit. All right. But yeah, we know eats delivered. We know Drew Pittman. Yeah. So thank you, Drew, and also the Gafford Restaurant. Rick Wilson, thank you. A shout out to them, a $50 gift card for dinner. And then a really nice package. This is a, a part of the package, the experience of having a boat. When you come to Stewart, what do you do? Nice. You go on the water. So we've got a boat rental at Premier Boat Club, which is in Manatee Marina in Port Salerno, and that's a $300 value. Thank you, Ed and Sherry Westervelt, the owners of Premier Boat Club. And thank you, Monarch Country Club, and Beth Davis is the GM there, for donating a golf foursome, a $400 value. And I'm working on a couple of other things. Oh yeah, Sheer Perfection, they've donated two pedicures. I might have to buy this basket after all. You know, I'm putting it together, it sounds pretty good. I think so. And um, we're working on the Oceanographic Society, so somebody could come there and go look at that. And a stay, a night or two at the Colorado Inn, thanks to Stephen Vitale. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a cool place. A too. very cool place. And um, the um, uh, my other wonderful sponsors for the show, besides myself, because that's my real estate stuff, that was the sponsoring right there. But I also have a really wonderful couple of sponsors, Terry and Gary Mulka of TC Palm Home Inspections and Audi Stewart and Devin Carlson is the GM there. And uh, they are wonderful. I use Gary just about exclusively unless he's busy and tied up with another transaction. But they're uh, a great home inspection company and I encourage everybody I list yeah. to sell to try to have an inspection before they go on the market because it just takes the fear out of it and the questioning. Mm -hmm. And um, they're located at 772-678-8133. And you can check out their website at tcpalmhomeinspections.com. And I love their saying, buying and selling a home isn't so scary when you use Inspector Gary. <laughs> Yay! Um, so the other sponsor is wonderful is when luxury meets the road, Audi Stewart, and everybody knows where they're located on US1. Many thanks to Devin Carlson, the general manager there. They just really sell beautiful, luxurious works of art for your driving pleasure. Give them a call at 772-214-3900 or go to AudiStewart.com or just drop by and they're open every day because they sell houses. Like, I'm open every day. I sell houses. I mean, yeah. they sell cars. I sell houses. That's yes. right. That's, that's, that's the difference. That's yes. the difference. Yes. But you got to have a car to go in your garage that might as well be an Audi, right? Well, sure. Yeah. And, oh, Catherine Massey, great. My sister is tuned in, and Brian Moriarty, Moriarty is uh, tuned in, and he is a star dancer, too, as well. So we're going to bring our guests in and ask my husband, Richard, my dear sweet husband, to bring Randy. Yeah, and they're waiting in the green they're room. They're waiting in the green room. That's yeah. right. And the mission and history of Martin County's Healthy Start is that uh, Governor Lawton Childs in 1991 convened a group of community leaders and challenged them to develop ways to reduce Florida's alarmingly high infant mortality rate. Hi guys, come on in. Um, and so in order to do this and create the system of care for expectant mothers, they created legislation and Healthy Start coalitions throughout the state were created. And this legislation provides all pregnant women and newborn infants throughout the state with a universal risk screening to identify if they are at risk of poor birth, health, and developmental outcomes. And there are 32 Healthy Start coalitions throughout the state that help these expectant mothers. It's just wonderful. And I got involved through friends. And uh, their big event is Dancing with the Martin Stars to help raise money for that. And the 2017 star dancers are Misty Moody, Kirk Wilsterman, John Gonzalez, Liz Bishop, Jean Laws Scott, Rosie Shepard, and Randy Pennington. And Randy's right here. Hi. Hi, Randy. Welcome, and thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you for having me, Julia. Absolutely. And to your right is none other than Mayor Troy McDonald, Mayor Stewart. Hello, Troy. Good evening. It's so happy to be here on your show with you tonight. 
closer to the mic. Thank okay. you. Okay, good. Perfect. Yes, I'm glad to have you because we had so much fun getting to know each other a little bit last year doing Dancing with the Martin Stars. And I think we got the same score. I think we did. I think they, you know, I think they feel got, sorry for us. I, 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 I think we got robbed. I was going to throw the table over. And, you know, uh, <laughs> I know. I know, we got robbed, but I said, I've, I've learned, like, oh, I'm going to write my book. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> but i got to let it go. I can't be like other people who lose and don't let it go. But you, you but I won. It was the Russians that did it. It's the Russians that did it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you got your own, your very own mirror ball trophy. I did. Thanks to Aubrey Campbell wow. and Healthy Star Coalition. They came in a I year to the date, practically made a presentation on the show. Uh, I had, when I had Rosie on, and it surprised me with a sweet little, you know, miniature runner-up kind of thing. So they know how much I wanted that. Oh. <laughs> but and I you, didn't you, want it for me. I wanted it for the people who donated. Didn't you feel so gratified for all these people? I did, and I, I, I have to tell you, you did a great job on the fundraising, and, and not not only uh, you, but uh, everybody. It, within our group, I think yeah. uh, we set a record amount. I think last year we were yes. shy of one hundred and seventy thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, So, Randy, you guys have your work cut out. We for do. You? We really do. <laughs> we set the bar. The bar has been set very high. You're and, gonna have to jump over that bar. And I, yeah, I was. I, now I have to tell you, I was with Randy this morning at a breakfast, and uh, okay. we sat at the same table. And I made sure everyone at that table understood that they needed to donate to Randy. So I'll All tell right. you, Troy was my best salesman. He uh, he he was, had talked people into a, was trying to talk them into a $5,000 sco sponsor. Woo -woo. Right. Well, I would be happy if you beat our record. I think that's right. the thing we want to do is keep setting the goal for everybody each year to keep going higher and higher yeah, and higher. Keep raising that bar. Bye, honey. My husband's leaving. Thanks, honey. And I just, I want to tell a quick story before I forget. My sister Catherine's on and she told me a very funny story. And this is about a child, not a baby so much, but <clears throat> in my family, um, Harper Grace. Hi, Harper Grace, if you're listening, and Jonathan, her daddy. Uh, she sent me an email today, just this is off track a little bit, but this is so funny and I said I would tell the story and say hi Harper Grace and hi mom, my mom's listening. Um, all of a sudden she was just driving along and my sister was taking her somewhere to see a museum or something and she said, Aunt Julia talks a lot, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> and my sister looked at her and she went, where'd that come from? And she goes, well, she does, right? And she goes, well, yes, she does, yeah, because she's talkative, she's an extrovert. And uh, that's interesting, you were thinking about it, that's so sweet. And you know, did you know she has a radio show? She goes, no, I didn't. So thanks, family, for spreading the word. <laughs> and so, but she is only seven, so she doesn't have a Facebook account. But, um, so she said, well, yeah, and, and talking has gotten her a radio show. It's, you know, landed her in a spot where she's really good at what she does at talking. But the funny thing is that um, in like seventh or eighth grade, around, I got a G in conduct, which ruined my GPA, and it was my homeroom teacher. For talking too much. I got a good instead of an excellent. I was like, look at me now. So anyway, <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. And I do know how to listen to. So I want to talk to you about your lives, how you came to Martin County, what you do, how you do it, who you're married to, you know, those kind of things. So let's start with you, Randy. Oh, well, I, uh, I graduated Martin County High School. Wow. I've, I've been at Center State Bank for about 13 years now. Okay. I'm a commercial lender there. Ah. I can vouch for that. I did get a commercial loan from Randy in December, so it, it was a great too job. horrible, right? No, no. Actually, it was a great experience. Oh, good. Very cool. Very, very cool. I didn't contemplate suicide once. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, Randy did a great job, <laughs> and uh, and I've been with Center State Bank since uh, well, since it was Gulfstream. <laughs> so, oh, thank I you, remember, for many, I remember many years. Gulfstream. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, good. Well, um, and you're married, correct? Yes. Yes, and her name is? My wife is Jamie Pennington. Jamie Pennington. And is she a local girl? She is. She's a steward native, actually. One of the few and far between. Wow. Them, I've met. Yeah. And you got kids? No, we have, uh, well, we have two cats. Okay, that's that, that equal qualifies to two kids. kids. Yeah. Right, right, right. I have to go with that. I got three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a little easier to feed and groom. Yeah. They don't fight back. Yeah. They love attention. <laughs> well, kids do too, but sometimes you can't get them to put on what... I remember I was very difficult. I want to wear that one, not that one. You know, so you, know, you get that fighting like a fish. Well, um, I'm so glad you're here. And uh, Troy, what about you? 
Well, uh, I am married. My wife, uh, Portia, Portia Scott, is a Stuart native. Oh, okay. And uh, I won't say what how old she is, but I'll tell you that when she was born, the whole county's population was 6,000 people. Wow. And, um, and what are we now? About 20? 100, no, 155,000. Oh, wow. County. Okay, well, you know, a lot of people moved here really yeah. fast. A lot of people did. <laughs> they moved here overnight. Overnight. <laughs> and I got to meet Portia briefly the other night. Yeah. You and I, we all went out for date night. Unbeknownst to each other, yep. ran each, uh, into each other at the movies. Yeah, and, and we were with our prospective spouses, which is always a good thing. It's a good thing, yes, we weren't caught, you know, uh, in, yeah. in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong person. Yeah, so, right, right. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, right, uh, no, my wife is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. She's a local attorney, and uh, okay. she's been practicing law here in Stewart, and, and kind of circling back around the Healthy Start Coalition, mm -hmm. she volunteered for the Healthy Start Coalition for almost 20 years, or over 20 years, wow. actually, doing... Uh, a, what they called the father childhood workshop oh, yeah, where she where she would provide um, they would help uh, primarily single fathers that were having trouble navigating the uh, legal system so they could uh, be more involved with their children's mm -hmm. lives uh, they did get, they did have some mothers there as well but uh, but it was focused primarily on uh, uh, single fathers and that's one of the values of uh, Healthy Star Coalition, not only are they out there trying to help mothers have healthy babies, yeah. but they're also working very hard to make sure that there's a healthy family unit, including uh, bringing the fathers in, because unfortunately, some, especially with these young folks, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't see my hands on the radio. That's right, but on the Facebook. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, these, uh, the, with some of these young families, yeah. there is issues, and uh, the young men finally get their acts together and they want to be part of their children's lives. But and I'm uh, so glad for that. Yes, yeah. and, and they, but they have to figure out how to do it. So. Right, and, and that's one of the resource centers that, that Healthy Start has always had and promotes for the fathers to be involved because, you know, <laughs> it's a very sad st statistic that there are a lot of fatherless families out there, you know, for one reason or another. And we want to continue to grow the family as a full unit. You know, so that's the best way to have, you know, both parents if you can. You know, yes. sometimes things happen and you can't. Um, a sad news story. I don't know, forget where it was, but it was just last night that a young couple, unfortunately, the gentleman, the father was killed, shot or something, and then the wife, she bore twins, and she died in childbirth. Oh, wow. So they've got a GoFundMe page. That was on the news last wow. night. I think it must be local here in Florida somewhere. So wow. we have to look out. It takes a village. It does. And that's some rough luck there. Sure. It is. Yeah. Those so, poor children are going to have, uh, yeah. uh, have a very difficult time. Yeah. And um, so we want to help as many. And after I did my very first show with Healthy Start Coalition, a couple of friends of mine came up to me and said, they helped me. You know, I would never have had enough diapers or known where to go for things because it's it's all kinds of help it's education but it's also actual physical help like diapers right. the diaper formula bank, formula right and you have you been to the diaper bank i went to the uh, prenatal outreach center in yeah. salerno and i found yes. that just i mean it was eye-opening what they're doing yeah. out there thousands and thousands and thousands of diapers uh in fact at a, at a give back night that uh, uh Bonos is hosting for me on Tuesday night. Oh, we're let's gonna, talk about that. Okay, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a diaper box there where people can drop off oh, donations. Uh, in fact, I was uh, I found out that they have to close that uh, diaper bank essentially for August. Uh, now they're gonna reopen it in September because supply had gotten so oh. low. They just go through thousands and thousands of diapers. So we'll have our give back night on Tuesday night at right. Bonos, and please come on out support this and uh and, and bring diapers with you we're gonna have, we're gonna have a big box there that we're gonna need to fill so good good um so bono's on us1 yes okay everybody knows where that is right everyone knows right. i know where that is it's right next to the coffee place that i'll not mention <laughs> oh that place. my wicked habit um yeah so that's a great thing uh the diapers look like money on a table yeah because guess what it costs a lot of money Back in the day, I won't say how old I am either, but my mother used to wash my diapers. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have those kind of right. throwaway things. So we're throwing away money left right. and right. Sure. So unfortunately, the Healthy Start Coalition, one of the things that they can do is when you, if you don't donate diapers and you donate money, they can buy diapers in bulk yes. at a yes. much, much 
discounted rate right. than the retail prices. And so they buy, from what I understand, by the pallet load. Yeah, and you want to go to mchealthystart.org to donate, to vote for your favorite dancer, and Randy's our favorite dancer tonight. Uh, thank you. You go to mchealthystart.org and you will see on the pink banner, along with Father Child Resource Center and all their programs and about them, Dancing with the Martin Stars. Click on that link and then it opens up the page with all the dancers. And it's very easy to donate. And every time you donate, whatever amount you donate, those are the votes that you're voting for Randy or whatever dancer you're voting for to win. And they take the dance score on the night of at the Lyric Theater, September 23rd this year. And you, you get the dance score. They do the whole thing with seven, eight, nine, and all that, 10. Um, and they take your dance score along with how much money you've raised. That's a very significant number. And they determine the winner that way. So it's, it's a complicated process and there's a lot of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right at the end, you know, like who's giving what and how much is, because they do have an intermission, the ability to continue to donate from the audience, like somebody could walk in a check for a thousand dollars and that puts somebody over the top. So that's kind of, you know, really important to uh, right up through the end, keep voting for your favorite dancer. So Randy Pennington, tonight's star dancer on the Martin County Difference. Thank you. Yes, go to mchealthystart.org and click on Dancing with the Martin Stars and find Randy. And of course, we have other friends in the show, and if your friend is someone else, you can vote for everybody. Just give a little bit to everybody. You don't know who else is giving, so it doesn't matter. So you could give $25 to everybody, and whoever their other friends are, if they've given $25 more, well, you know, so what? <laughs> it all goes to the babies. At the end, the healthy the start end. wins. So healthy exactly. start wins. So I, I had a friend who said she was afraid she couldn't donate to me because she was already supporting somebody else. And I said, easy, $25 to everybody. I'll take 25 And, you know, she ended up giving me 100 uh -huh. which was very kind of her. So that, And she did it, quote, unquote, anonymously. So thanks, Deb. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, we've got some folks on. Jamie Pennington. Oh. Hello. Your wife is out there Hello. on Facebook. Well, you're hearing the feedback a little bit on oh, here. But gotcha. she's out there on Facebook. She says, hi, Troy oh, and Randy. I want to give a shout out to the spouses. Without our spouses, oh. Troy and I know, and you know now, yes. the spouse keeps the house <laughs> and keeps the mouse away. And if my husband had not fixed dinner, gone shopping, done the laundry, I couldn't have done it last year. Well, I've been, you know, pushing with all these pictures on uh, on my Facebook page, and it, Jamie has been there for every practice, oh, taking pictures, taking oh. videos, helping us, you know, get the word out. So yeah. thank so, you, Jamie. Yeah. Now, do you have a special page or just your profile, your personal profile? Just my personal okay, profile. Okay. So go to Randy Pennington on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I had set up a page, and it's out there still because you don't take them down. If, you know, what's the point? And it's Julia Sansevier dancing with the Martin Stars, and I posted the dance there. So remember, uh, take a video. Right. And somebody did it, took a video for me, and I managed uh, to, to grab it. So it's out there, and it's on YouTube. But so it's my. Oh, I got to see this. You haven't seen it? <laughs> oh, my Latin did, hustle. She oh. did an amazing job. She should have won. Oh, I think she should have got all tens. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I think you did pretty well too. You should have gotten all tens. What was your dance? I did the, uh, uh, what was the song, uh, Sharp Dressed Man, ZZ yes. Top, uh, yeah. and I had, I, you know, I had, had a, prop. a cool prop. I had a prop. Yes, I, had a, I had a Ducati Superbike uh, as a motorcycle as a prop, and, and uh, I had the, uh, I had a wonderful, uh, I got to give a shout out to uh, Christine, Kristen Benos, because she was amazing. She, she I got to say, she was a taskmaster at all of our uh, practices. She made sure that I was going to be successful, yeah. and she was not going to allow me to fail on her watch. Yeah. So I got to give a lot and of credit my, to her. And my partner, Elliot Acosta, was wonderful. And his daughter, oh my gosh, Megan, she was our choreographer at the end, and really helped fine tune. It's really important to have that third eye, you know, that third party to look at you and, mm -hmm. and videotape yourself, obviously. Right. So Megan is my instructor, Ooh. and she is, she is amazing. I literally have never danced a step in my life. And she, we are, uh, we're, we're making big strides. Good. Oh, good. Please Very give her good. a shout out. Say what, hello. What did you dance? Yeah. With? What's your dance? Or can you say? I, I guess I can say now. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's it's the quick step. Oh, fun. Oh, wow. That does. That takes a lot yeah. of wind. 
Yeah. Does it? <laughs> yeah. But I see him working out at the gym all the time. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, he's, good. He's got, he's, got the, he's got the legs. Very oh, thank cool. You. Yeah. Okay. Well, just remember, September 23rd at the Lyric Theater, it's one night only, and do you happen to have any tickets stashed away? Because I hear they're sold out. They are sold out. I, I have heard that if you go to the Lyric Theater website, there may be a few left. I have just enough left for people. I um, oh. Perhaps one of the other contestants, I was talking to uh, Dr. Brian last night, I think he might have a couple extra, I'm uh -huh. not sure. Very difficult. I heard they sold out in record time they this did. year. They, they, did. they did. Yeah, they did. It's just so much fun. It's such a happening. So if you know one of the dancers, do yourself a favor, find out how to get in touch with them, donate to them. They'll probably be more likely to give you a ticket if you donate. And come down to the Lyric Theater on that night. And the other uh, thing about it is that it's very professional. Jennifer Jones and her husband Peter Jones uh, run Starstruck Theater here in town. And they do a fantastic job of organizing the show, choreographing the whole you know, thing and laying it out, giving us a rundown and a routine. And they really helped us pull it all together at the end. And they are so professional. They're so good. I hope they're going to be able to come on the show in the next couple of weeks. That would They've be got cool. a crazy schedule, but yeah. we're trying to work it out. We might end up pre-taping it. But I just love the two of them. They are so great. They are a really wonderful addition to our community. You yeah. know, for the arts great. and just as great people. Yeah, and they're so. incredibly creative. Very creative. Very and do, creative. Yeah, and yeah. so if you can catch a show at Starstruck, you want to do that. Yeah. Now, back to you, Troy. The other day, not too long ago, you were at a Vietnam Veterans of America event. Yes. Uh, so you do a lot of, you know, volunteering. Yeah, that, that one was an event that's very special to me because it's, uh, it's the second time we've had that event. Uh, I sponsored that through my company, and we and I. Uh, it was my idea to get it started four years ago with the Vietnam Veterans of America, uh, Martin County Chapter Ten Forty One. Right. Um, and what we've been doing is raising funds to send care packages to troops mm. overseas. And we did we did this the first time, I guess, in two thousand thirteen. I wow. think. Okay. Um, and yeah. this is the second time we've done it. I think in two thousand thirteen we. I don't remember how many care packages we sent, but I think our postage was about fifteen hundred dollars. Wow! Um, so, uh, so what we did was we raised three, four thousand dollars. We go and we uh, go to BJ's and other places. We get mm. uh, uh, the things that the soldiers want: baby wipes and powdered Gatorade and yeah. and trail mix, stuff like oh. that. And we put them into priority mailboxes and we ship them off. Uh, and couldn't do it without the help of, uh, of a lot of people, uh, especially all the volunteers and, and the members of the uh, Vietnam Veterans chapter. And these, these guys are great. Uh, I got involved with them. My father was a Vietnam veteran. Mm. And, um, and unfortunately, he passed away 22 years ago. But Sorry. It's, it's, it's OK. It's, it's, it's life. And it he, is life. And what, uh, so I got involved with those guys. And they're just a super group of guys. And, and we were fortunate enough this year to have uh, Congressman Mast yeah, come by. Yeah, Brian Mast. Yep, Brian Mast he's came by. He's a veteran. By. He's a veteran, and he, he's a wounded he's, veteran. He has sacrificed more for his country yes, than has. most can ever even think of. And and he came by, and uh, uh, he spent almost two hours at that event, oh. talking to people, talk, walking around Mulligans, uh, meeting with people, and and that was fantastic. Yeah. And. It really, it really was uh, nice to have him there, and it was nice to have his support, um, and it was nice that we're going to be able to support uh, all these troops overseas. That's fantastic. Well, veterans are a, a, a love of mine. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Randy. Oh no, I was just going to say that's great, Troy. That's that's amazing. It is. Um, I, I, and if anybody has watched the show before and tuned in, I, anytime I can get a veteran on the show, I will do it, especially around the Memorial Day, Veterans Day. Pearl Harbor Day, you know, um, I've had Honor Flight on here. I just think we owe the biggest debt of all to our veterans, and uh, that's where I ran into you the other night at the movies. I was going to see Dunkirk, and oh my. What a great movie. I, what a great movie about a great story, a true story of, the, you know, just the regular people. You talk about a community with a heart. The English came and rescued all those hundreds of thousands of 
of uh, soldiers, and there were no women back there as soldiers, but the men who were trapped on that beach and got them off. Uh, it was an incredible. And they fought to the last gallon of gas. The, anybody, in the, the, the guy, the pilot, ah, shooting down the planes. It, it's just incredible. I got, got goosebumps. So everybody go see Dunkirk. I have no part in the movie. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't get anything from it, but you'll, it'll, it'll be good for you to see that. And so, um, the other thing, you were a celebrity bartender at that. I was. Yes. How'd that go? Uh, well, you know, I, I learned that I probably should uh, not choose bartending as a second. <laughs> do you have a heavy pour, or? I probably do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the restaurant doesn't want you. Uh, yeah. yeah that could be but that, you know, and it's like charging people with secondary. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Here, have a drink. Uh -huh. Um, and yeah, it's now, just more fun making it than billing for it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean you have to, I have to ask them for money too? They, yeah. But they won't be as happy. <laughs> no, that's right. It's a party. So you're our mayor of Stewart. I am. That's so cool. Um, and you're a chair of Stewart CRA, and the CRA stands for? Community Redevelopment Agency. Yeah. I'm the chairman of, of that. I'm also uh, a member and chairman of the Martin County Metropolitan Planning Organization. Right, which is and the Business Development Board. You're vice president of that. I am. Trying to bring business to Martin County. I am. That, well, that's so one of our... Tell us some good news about that. Well, I think that uh, there is some good news. We're starting to see, we're starting to see some business activity. Mm -hmm. We're starting to see people actually looking. Uh, we've had some changes at the county, but uh, but more importantly, at the as far as uh, directly related to my job as mayor of Stewart, we have uh, been very active in pursuing new business, um, and I think we're we're actually going to start seeing a few things. And I'm working on something right now I can't discuss, oh. but I am um, I'm very excited about it, and I'm hoping that that uh, we can pull it off. So. Ah. Okay, I'm really looking for that. And yeah. come back and talk about it when it yeah, happens. Yeah, when it comes to fruition. And we'll when say, you heard it here first. Yeah. When it comes to fruition, uh, I will I will bring the uh, folks involved in. But uh, one of the things that we focus on is not only uh, bringing new businesses to the community, but making sure businesses don't leave. And yeah, one, we'll one, keep them here. And one of, the, one of the things that I worked on as a member of the Business Development Board and as a city commissioner was... Uh, the company New CO2, they mm -hmm. produce uh, carbon uh, yeah. dioxide gas right. for, the, uh, for the sodas. Um, we worked very hard with them recently uh, to keep them in Stewart. Mm -hmm. um, they were having some issues with their uh, property and their parking and, and mm -hmm. their building, and they weren't sure if they were going to sign another lease. They have new ownership, uh, and that's a $2 billion company with uh, approximately 225 employees. And we, we worked very hard to come up with a plan for them, and we got a few things approved and expedited the approval through the city commission in order to keep them uh, in our community. Wow. And so they're here for, you know, for the foreseeable future, and that's, that's something good news. important. That's yeah. very good news. Yeah, because the worst thing is to have people leaving, and you know, it just kind of becomes a ripple effect. Right. So we like the ripple coming the other way. We do, and, and, but we have a lot of work to do, yeah. and we're, we're going to keep working at it. Uh, economic development is something that you cannot be stagnant. Right. In. You have yeah, to be right. continuously working it. Right. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you're down there doing that, um, and and that you're so outgoing to do all the volunteering that you do um, with safe safe space. I did the. I was on the committee for the. Uh, I haven't done it in a couple of years, but the committee for walk a mile in her shoes. Oh, did you walk? A mile I have done in the walk the red up. shoes. Did I did. did. I, I, I danced missed the, that. I danced the jig in the red oh shoes because I proved to my wife I, I could. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, I, I haven't done that in a few years, uh, uh, but I, I did serve on the committee for a couple of years for okay, that. All right. I served. Uh, I did that too. I, you I, did? I, I gotta tell you, walking in those red shoes, <laughs> I have a lot more respect. It, my calves <laughs> killed me for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, I danced yeah. backwards in heels. What? Wow. Like I, Ginger Rogers. I can't imagine. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then um, the other thing is that you're a process server. You're in. You're on the review board for that. So does that mean you you've been served that whole thing? Like, yeah, we we should I look out if you come out <laughs> and do it. If you see me knocking on your door at six a.m., it's probably I'm not probably coming it's in there. It's not good. Yeah, and you're not so, coming to have a cup of coffee. Yeah, so my company <laughs> serves legal process, okay. and then uh, I've been doing that for 19 years wow. uh, here in Martin County, and then recently Judge Metzger. Uh, 
as chief judge of the United States Judicial Circuit, she created a process server review board mm -hmm. to for to review the new applicants uh, for become process servers, renew the app, review the renewals of uh, current process servers, and probably the most challenging part of our job is that we we deal with complaints against process servers. Mm. And so uh, there's one process server appointed to the board, that's myself, one okay. attorney, and then the court, trial court administrator. And so when we have, um, if there is a complaint filed against a process server, then the review board has to review mm -hmm. the, the complaint and see if there's merit to it. And if there is, and then we have a, a procedure for for the complaint to go through and be investigated and determine if any action needs to be taken against the process server. Well, that's good, yeah. So it's like kind of like the Wild West otherwise. It is, and it's something new for our area, And uh, but it's it's challenging because it's uh, there's a lot of gray area, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been served? Uh, no, but when, <laughs> I, when I saw him this morning at the breakfast meeting, it was very early and I was very nervous. Maybe I'd done something wrong. <laughs> Well, we'll have to work on that. You know, I'm sure we can find something to drop, serve you at the bank. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's great. And then, and Randy, you're um, the current chair for Project Graduation. Tell us what that is. Project Graduation is uh, three nights. All three of the graduation nights for the high schools. Uh -huh. We have a. It's a preventative thing where. We have a giant party for each of the high schools. Uh, it, it's a Tuesday night, a Wednesday night, and it's a Thursday night. It's all night, mm. and it keeps the kids off the road mm. because graduation nights are the second highest night for DUI-related uh. crashes. So that keeps them off the roads, and they have a great time. And I, this past year was the first time that I had done all three nights. So I went to work. Then I went to the project oh, graduation, wow. then I went to work, then I went to project graduation, then I went to work, then I went to project graduation, and I understood tired at that point. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you get any kind of rest? No, no, no not really. Just no. all nighters? But you know what I night? did? I just put my feet up on my desk at work and oh. shut the blinds. Okay, yeah. Yeah. nobody knew. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows. Troy yeah. didn't come in that day no, for no, as long. No, no, <laughs> That's good. And then, um, what is it about Healthy Start that you like? That, I mean, besides all the things we've said, I mean, is, are you enjoying the dancing? I guess I should say that. The love, hijinks behind it. Love the dancing. Love the, the dancing. dancing. Uh, it, Megan is, is, she really has a work in progress here. This is, uh, I, I'm a difficult, difficult subject here, but uh, after stepping all over her, uh, it, it's, it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> she is very patient. She's very patient, very nice. I can always, very I nice. always know that I'm not doing well. When Megan's giving me high fives and life is good, and I look over at my wife, and she's not smiling. <laughs> she's not smiling. She, she's looking at me like, ah, that was just not good. Oh. So, But we're working on it, and well, I'm getting better. How many lessons do you think you've had, or how many weeks have you been at it? Um, let's see. We started right out of the gate, so I, I think good. we probably had 12 or 13 lessons good, at this yeah, point. Yeah. So, I kept yeah. wanting more and more. I'm like, oh, this is not happening. And we were working really hard right up to the end and adding things, and so it, it'll drive you a little crazy. It, it, yeah, I've been dragging the cats around the house, that, you know, <laughs> to try and dance. There's a you picture know. for you. Meow! <laughs> Daddy, let go! What, are you swinging by their tail? You, you're going to get a process server from the HPC. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. You talked about the importance of spouses. I glanced down at my Fitbit while we were on the air, ah. and Jamie had texted me, oh. and she said, don't forget to say that, hey, if you want tickets, there's a $500 sponsorship that's very affordable. Oh, yeah, yeah. That will not only get you tickets, but it'll get you tickets to the uh, the cocktail party uh, beforehand. Yes. So I wanted to mention that, too. Oh, absolutely. That's okay. So those are available, the sponsorships. Still available. Oh, okay. Well, that is the best way, you guys, out mm. there. And that's the way uh, I can't thank Rosie Shepard enough. She was my very first person to step up and be a sponsor for me at the $500 level. And it is great. You get two tickets, the cocktail party ahead of time. You get your name in the program, big lights, you know, big lights, big lights all over. A lot of recognition, and um, it's really exciting, and you get to be a part of things. They also have a sponsorship level at 1000 and 2500 and then, of course, 5000 And each one gets you more tickets and more oomph, you know, in, right. in the program and on social media and all of that. So go to mchealthystart.org and go to Martin the Dancing with the Martin Stars on the banner, and uh, and pick your dancer, or just go ahead and donate to all of them, because, you know, it's, it's tax deductible, so it's a win-win-win.
win, win, win for win. sure. Yes. Right. But but you know, when you donate when you donate to all of them, just add a little bit yeah. more for Randy. Thank you. I appreciate more. that, Troy. Thank you. Know, you. Because thank you. Randy's working. You know. All of the dancers are working hard, and I know many of them. And and if I, and if I was with them, I'd say the same thing: donate an extra dollar. <laughs> so I'm here with Randy tonight. Donate extra money to Randy. Tonight. And, and, Ra you. and Randy, Lisa Holland has chimed in and says, "Don't forget to talk about your golf raffle." Yes, the golf raffle Thank that you, we Lisa. have. Tell Thank us you, about Lisa. That. So we have a uh, it's a it's a foursome a golf PGA. It is going to be where well, we're going to start the raffle at Bono's, but then we're going to continue the raffle, and eventually it'll be uh, raffled off on Facebook. I've never done this before, but Lisa encouraged me that insists. I... Lisa insists, yeah, and she's good. She she's very good, stuff. yeah. yeah. So, That's how I did a lot of contests. It's great, and you know, it, she, everybody go to his Facebook page and you'll figure this out. So you're going to have it up there? We'll, we will have it up there. We'll have it up there tonight. Okay, so. tonight. Good. And what is the prize? What is the golf it, it, it's a It's a whole, uh, it's a four pack of golf in, in, in full round for oh. four people. There's a whole bunch of other stuff in the bag that goes along with it. It's an awesome prize. The best prize that I have, it's it's, it's going to be great. Very and good. where where is the golf at? Uh, PGA. PGA. Yeah, very in good. Uh, north or south? Uh, uh, Palm it's Beach it's Garden. down in Palm Beach Gardens. Palm Beach Gardens? Yes, yes, oh, okay, yes. great. Oh, the real truth, PGA. Uh, PGA, yes. Yeah, sorry, I should probably be. That's a specific. great gift yes. uh, item. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, we, we did things last year and had auctions and things like that, and um, golf is always popular oh, yes. around here. Sure. Yeah. And is there a time that they can play it? Is it off-season or any time? Do you know? You know, I'm not, I'm not sure on the specifics. Okay. But just go for it. Absolutely. Because if you're a golfer, I know a few golfers, I'll, I'll have to reach out to them because I know they love to golf and they'd love to win something like that. And they were wonderful donors for me last year. So I'll just say, well, hey, you know, get another con uh, tax deduction this year. <laughs> sure. Get your head in the raffle. Yes, That's get your right. hand in. And, and Lisa, thank you for that reminder. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. And Brian Moriarty is saying hello. And he says, hi, Mayor Troy. Troy for county commission and Randy for president. <laughs> <laughs> And we just got a love. I think that was from Lisa. Thank you. Keep loving and liking the show and sharing it with all your friends. And this lives on on Facebook after the live broadcast. And then it goes to YouTube. And then it goes to iTunes as a podcast. So wow. you can, yeah. Wow, you got this, so fancy. Got this, uh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. She's we're right. gonna, you know, a thousand years from now, we're going to be watching Julia's show. <laughs> That's right. She made a difference. <laughs> well, the point is the difference is shining the light on wonderful organizations such as Healthy Spark Coalition and you guys, the wild and crazy guys, the twinkle toes, we get a lot of hearts and laughs, um, that you guys are participating. Well, you did, Mayor Troy, and you are, Randy, and I think it's marvelous because the, you know, it, it definitely takes a certain... <laughs> Willingness to go out there and possibly humiliate yourself. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The, the fear of humiliation is high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, and this is one of the reasons I was stressed out last year. And um, Elliot kept saying, "It'll be fine. It'll be fine." I'm like, no, it won't be fine. We've got to do this right. I'm, you know, just a little bit of a perfectionist. But um, oh, Beth Ann Algie, thank you. The love was from her. Oh. And she says, another great show. One of my wonderful friends and dear fans. So um, we've got some good likes and loves. We've got Jamie Pennington, Beth Ann Algie, Pamela Croke Martin, Steve Wilkie, Sam Massey Jr., Brittany Holdy. Hi, Brittany, one of my real estate friends here in town, and Mary Clegg, my mom. So everybody else, chime in, like and love it. And this will, uh, as I said, be on um, YouTube at the Martin County Difference. Join the group. Join the Martin County Difference Group. You guys, if that didn't already, already join you in, because you get notified. And also, if the if a new video goes up on YouTube, you get notified of that if you'll follow the show you know, on YouTube. So um, it's, cool. it's really amazing social media, and that's what I've come to learn in the last year, how to do this. And um, people wonder, like, why and how? What, what's a realtor doing on the radio? Because it's not always just about real estate. Um, but I was in broadcasting. I was a performer before I came to Stewart. And this is my natural, you know, my trench, I should say, my little, uh, I love it. And my husband, who sets us up here, was a technical director, and we met at NBC, and I did the graphics. We would travel and do sports, and so I kind of had a broadcast background. So which kind of plays into talking to buyers and sellers, you know, and 
performing in front of them, auditioning for them every time I go on a listing appointment. <laughs> but I do love what I do, and I'm talking to people is, is fun, and that's what Harper Grace said I like to. Obviously, she knows me. She's only seven. Oh. She's known me for seven years, <laughs> and she's just she's a talkative one. <laughs> so, but I really have a good time, and meeting people like like you guys, you know, to be a part of all of this is really really cool. And is there anything else you'd like the audience to know? Anything we left out? No, I, I, I think we did it all. So You've covered thank it you. all. Yeah. Right. yeah, I just want to say one thing, one last thing is I want, want to thank everybody who has supported yeah. uh, myself, Julia, Randy, yes. and all of the performers in Healthy Start Coalition. Uh, if it wasn't for our supporters, um, that's the reason why we do this, is to raise money, but we can't do it without our supporters. You know, it's, it's great, it's fine, dandy, we want to be out there dancing, but if we're not raising money, this event, there's no point of having the event. And it, it uh, I think Julia said it takes a village. Well, it takes a village of people <laughs> donating money That's to right. ensure right. this organization uh, is out there or, uh, working to help these young families, which is so important. Yeah, and they really are deserving. Um, you know, whether it's diapers or formula or an educational pamphlet that gets them into some kind of... Um, family counseling or you know actual medical help if a baby has is at risk well we, they know that up front you know ahead of time so it's just a wonderful organization it's Martin County Healthy Start Coalition go to mchealthystart.org vote for your favorite dancer tonight's dancer is Randy Pennington right That's here me. <laughs> sitting to my right and um, Troy, you did a great job last year. Your your thing was so cute with the motorcycles. So, do you know if you're having any props this uh, year? Uh, I have heard Megan has some prop uh, ideas. I'm just uh, I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, right. Well, I think that's great. And a big shout out to Megan. Um, you know, she is great, and I love you lots, Megan. You helped me so much at the end, so I'm really happy that you have her helping you because I know you're going to be great. And all the dancers, to all the dancers, you know. Love to all of you. Anybody of the cast is welcome to come on the show and talk about what they do in life. You know, thank you. We have one minute off the air, so I guess I'll now I'll tamp it down and just say thanks for joining us tonight. Join us next week. I'm going to have Tent City Helpers. They are a wonderful organization here in Martin County, and I want to thank Frank on the radio audio board. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Randy Pennington, and thank you, Troy McDonald. Thank you, thank you. For coming in tonight, and see you next Wednesday on the Martin County Difference. <laughs>